Hey YouTube, Sam here from Pocket Studios, welcoming you back to some more Pokemon Fusions. This is like episode 25 now, it's crazy how many we've done, um, but today we're fusing Metagross and Blaziken, because a couple of episodes Luke suggested that we fuse... we fuse them. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. But anyways, the last two episodes we've pretty much only done texture editing. Uh, so today's episode, I want to try and make it a bit more exciting. I guess it's kind of exciting, right? Just messing things up. But I want to go back to like the series roots or whatever it is, where I basically just absolutely trash the models and it looks kind of funny. But I'm hoping that it won't be too bad because my idea for this one is to make Metagross's legs Blazikens, because if you look at them, they're actually kind of similar. They got like the three claws on the bottom and they're just kind of long and a little bit chunky, I guess. So that's what we're doing today, and then we'll probably just color Metagross orange, which will look awesome, I hope. First of all, we need to get rid of these chunky legs. They've actually got, like, muscle on them. I don't really know how a metal being can grow muscle, but it's pretty cool. I'm also hoping that by doing more 3D work and less texture work, it's gonna make the episode a little bit quicker to record. I've also just noticed Blaziken's, like, chicken head pretty funky and I think we can probably elongate this cross on the front with chicken head. Okay, now we got to get Blaziken's legs. Um, I think what I'm going to do is kind of grab them from around this area and then I'm actually going to edit them so that they're pointed at the top, just like Metagross is. It's going to be facing that way because then the spike needs to be on the outside. I think we need to sculpt mode this which is always a fun time. That doesn't look too good. I don't know, we need to like merge these at the top of it I think. That is very spiky leg you got there. <laughs> okay, a little bit spiky maybe, we were gonna put this on. I actually should have left Metagross's legs around just so that we could have seen what they looked like. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Looks pretty cool. I also get the feeling that it's gonna look more like a rocket ship by the time we're done with this than a uh, Pokemon. So that'll be fun as well, right? I don't know. There we go. It's already got two rocket boosters. Three and four. Yay! It's got four legs. It actually looks pretty funky. It looks more like, I don't know, like, I don't know why I want to say Tiki Tribe, but it just looks like those pointed gateway things. Definitely suits Metagross, but the blue is definitely not the right color, so we need to change that. I think before I do any texture work, I'm just going to chickenize this. That's definitely a word. Chickenize is when you kind of, you steal chicken parts and stick them to metal objects. Logic. It's a good thing. So that means as well when I'm texture editing I just need to remember to change the cross to like this chicken... Chicken beige. It's a good colour name isn't it? Honestly not entirely sure what I'm doing with these. I don't think it's gonna look very good. Okay, I don't think chickenizing is working so we're not gonna do that. Texture editing it is! Metagross looks a little confusing and I think this is gonna be a tricky one to do. So if you haven't seen the last couple of episodes, the way I do it is magic wand everything, but there's quite a lot of different colours in here actually. So when I have to go back and fix it, it's just gonna be a bit of a pain, but we'll have a go with it and see what it looks like. Guess I'm just gonna make this orange, that's gonna look so weird. It looks kind of like a piece of fruit, I think. Oh wow! Can't decide if it's more like lava or fruit. Looks pretty cool, I'm gonna carry on with that. Where is the rest of his body though? Is it this bit here? Oh no! I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to find the bit of texture for this bottom half and I've accidentally colored these rods in orange. I don't actually know what color I want to do those because I think they'll look better. Maybe that beige color? I just think there's way too much orange in here right now, so I'm gonna change those rods again. I don't know what I'm doing, because I don't know what bit of texture goes to what. I've actually decided to do those rods this kind of dark beige color, because that's Blaziken's kind of other hand material, I think. Uh, so we'll see what that looks like. Yeah! I really like that, I think that definitely works, and then the spike is kind of like, I really feel like that spike should line up with these, but oh well. That is a definitely the right colour to do it. Awesome, glad we got that sorted, then maybe the cross can be beige. Something's gonna be beige, okay? Okay, now we just got dark orange to add, and I have to repaint all of these blue lines, that'll be fun. So, dark orange can be this one. Um, there are two different shades here, but I think we only need the one other shade. Nope, I was wrong. We do need two different shades. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of grey in there. Where's the grey? Is that in the mouth? What colour do we want the mouth to be? 
Should we make it pink? Honestly, not entirely sure why I'm actually bothering to do the bottom, because I don't think anyone's going to really see it, unless they're watching the video right now. It actually does look like a spaceship from here, doesn't it? Has anyone seen Thunderbirds? This one looks a bit like Thunderbirds 3. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Okay, so for like the past 10 minutes, I've just been editing textures. It's looking a bit nicer. I've still got a lot to do. But the reason I'm stopping now is because I figured out that this bit is the mouse and we go make it pink. I think we'll just go for like the brightest pink here. I think that'll look the best. You never know with these things. They might turn out better than you're expecting. Why hasn't it done the top? That means that the top is this bit here. Whoa. The mouth is in two different images. That's crazy. Okay, we got ourselves a pink mouth now. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> Looks a bit strange. But it's cool. We'll leave it like that and I will carry on getting rid of the blue bits. Okay, I'm all done I believe. Everything that was blue is now kind of dark reddy orange and it looks really nice. It's got a pink mouth, I don't really know why. I did do the bomb even though you won't be able to see it in the final render. That is commitment. These spikes are like that beige color on the front. It just looks really nice. I'm so pleased with this one. Let me fix up all the lighting and everything and then I will show you guys what it looks like. There we go, all rendered out. I put it in a cheeky little pose. It's a very basic one, but I'm happy with it. I just love this one. It's such a cool color scheme, and Blaziken's legs as Metagross's legs just works so well, in my opinion. Anyway, please let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. Love hearing your guys' feedback, and if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this, because I do them like every single other day. And make sure you press the notification button so you can watch them first I guess. That's everything I got for you today though, thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video and I will see you next time.